I think that war is the most horrendous invention mankind has ever come up with. Mike Haynes is a decorated combat vet, a former reconnaissance Marine who served in both Iraq and Afghanistan. But since he's come back to the U.S., he's taken on a new mission. You weren't thinking about farming in combat. I wasn't thinking about farming. I was just thinking, I was really questioning what was going on with warfare in itself. We kind of have a pr predominant m mentality right now that we're going to drop bombs and that's going to solve the problem. So instead of making things worse, instead of dropping bombs, then how about let's drop some food? You know, let's give people the uh, tools that they need to rebuild their community. One solution, he says, is a helical outpost, a hydroponic greenhouse and power station. It's wired with satellite internet access and it filters 2,000 gallons of water a day. Basically, an industrial-sized Swiss Army knife. Dylan Radigan helped start Helical. You might recognize him from TV. Where did the idea come from? This is an idea that was brought to me by people like Mike Haynes, combat veterans, who I'd say to them, what does the world need? And they have this sort of militaristic worldview of this integrated equipment functionality. And they say, we don't just need a power station, and we don't just need a communications hub, we don't just need a farm. We need all of those things working in an ecosystem that can then build capital and people. And Helical says you can drop an outpost in the middle of nowhere. Who came up with the idea of putting it in a shipping container? In the Marine Corps, we unpack those things, pack them, unpack them, pack them, unpack them, pack them, day in and day out. So the shipping container was definitely the ideal uh, shell for this, for this thing to work. You know, you can push these things out of airplanes and parachute them in pretty much anywhere in the world. You're going all so around the, the world yeah, with the this. The international right? application at its best is areas that are in crisis but have yet to go to conflict. So think Turkey, think Nigeria, think Kenya, any place that has limited penetration of basic resources. The only obstacle to shipping outposts everywhere, funding. The financing challenge, which we're making great progress on, the nice thing is this thing makes money. It's, it's like it, you're financing a farm that has a cash stream on the back end of it. Right now, only one outpost has been sold to a farm 65 miles outside of Washington, D.C. Patriot Farmers of America. Its mission, to train returning soldiers for cutting edge agricultural jobs. This is the Jeep of greenhouses. This row of nursery, and we can see it in the back there, uh -huh. is the spring and Asian mix. Ned is one of a dozen veterans already trained on the technology. For Helical, that's just the start. When combat veterans are coming from a scenario of death, pain, destruction, to get back into working with plants, you kind of shift to becoming a creator and a nurturer. It's, a, it's more of a healing thing as well. So it's a positive win-win all the way around. 